Welcome back, Mark. So why did you go down the NFS route rather than the traditional fibre channel or iSCSI approach to connecting the tintery storage to the um, host infrastructure? Well, first and foremost, a, a virtual machine is actually a, a collection of files. Um, and from those files, it's actually the virtual disks and the swap file that generates all of the I.O. So it's very important to use a file-based protocol to be able to uh, see those individual files that make up a virtual machine. And then because we can see them, we obviously can, we can now report on the I.O.s that are being generated by um, uh, the virtual disks and the swap file. And because we can see all of those reads, all those writes that are being generated, it allows us to do two things. The first is to provide incredibly granular uh, reporting capabilities around the product. So we show you things like uh, total IOPS uh, and the relationship between reads and writes, both on a virtual machine but also on a virtual disk and spot file basis. So you can understand exactly how that virtual machine is interacting with storage. We do the same for throughput and we also show you things like end-to-end -end latency. Uh, so latency that's been induced by the host system, latency that's coming from the networking infrastructure, but we also show you the latency that's coming from, um, from the storage itself. So having that uh, file system capability is really what's allowing us to provide that reporting. It also uh, allows us to uh, schedule the resources around all those reads and writes in a very intelligent fashion, and it allows us to provide a quality of service around each of those uh, virtual disks that are on the system itself. So NFS is a very, very important protocol, and we couldn't do that with a block-based protocol like iSCSI or Fiber Channel. So that's it in a nutshell, really. And I assume, based on our previous conversation about per-VM replication, without this approach in NFS, you wouldn't be able to isolate each VM and their virtual disks when you're doing per-VM um, replication as well. In, in, indeed. What, what you would find is would be like the traditional vendors, uh, the, uh, the purveyors of block-based storage, where um, the policy needs to be set at that LUN or volume level, where all of a sudden you lose the granularity of the, the, the per-VM instance. But with the Tintry approach and the file-based approach that we're using there, because we can see that information, we can perform policy at the individual virtual machine level, providing far greater efficiency for things like snapshots and, and for cloning, for replication, all of these good things that we deliver. Okay, thank you very much.